Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Marcus Aurelius, and this is Dominions 4, The Thrones of Ascension. And we are in early fall, in the first year of the Ascension Wars. And we're ready to, I believe, end the turn. Did we recruit? No, we didn't. Okay, so we're not ready to end the turn. Not at all. Let's go ahead and get an Archmage to do some site searching. Oh, or let's not, because we can't afford it. How much is a blood guy? 170? Can't afford him either. Well, what can we afford? A land chief, perhaps? Champion's too expensive. A scout? A researcher? Hmm. I think it's time for an expansion army. So, how about... Okay, protector, you can do 40. Plus 2 leadership, and you're cool. You can do 80, though. Hmm. 80 plus 1 leadership. Plus 1 plus 1. So that's 2 total minus wait no oops i have the blood guy no plus zero plus two so that they both end up being plus two i guess at the end of the day he's sacred but he can hold less people than the land chief but he's cooler but still unfortunately land chief has a higher leadership I don't know if I would necessarily do that. I think I'd change it so maybe he has 40, he has 60, and he has 120. Or maybe, so maybe he has 40, he has 80, and he has 120. But maybe Pie Mouse intended it that this guy is more of a, I don't know, like a small level elite guy. And the army should be really led by, by this guy. He does have the patrol bonus and the defense organizer, whereas this gentleman just guards castles really well. I don't know. How many can these guys lead? 40? Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, well... Uh, he can, he's just cool. I mean, right? Alright. And what do we have here? Slingers and war elephants? Ooh, no, probably not. My domain... Or, my, I'm sorry, my Dominion hasn't even extended there yet. Ictiids, possibly. We border Ur now. That's not wonderful. So. Hmm. Interesting. You know what, good bad guy? You're going to go back home for the moment. And Ur has declared war on us. Just in case, it's found a magic site. A wolf oak. Pelagia. So they're around. Andermark. Earth gems. Excellent. It's a level of magic that we don't have access to. So Ur is declaring war on us. How shameful of them. Alright. Well. So it goes. Javelineers. Wow, we have a lot of you, don't we? Way too many, actually. Holy moly. He doesn't need all of you. Oh, come on, really? Okay, here we go. How about 25 of them? 40 of these guys, and then I guess just the 21 of these guys that remain. We're going to move this front line down a little bit. I will move it up to up as in forward, I mean. And I'll move these guys here. And the Javelineers are now so many of them that we need to go into a regular line, as the sparse line is too sparse. Well, we do that, I suppose. The skirmish formation. Ugh, no. All right. Oh, not you. I want you. Up. Oh, mm -mm. I want you up here. There we go. I think that's everything. All right. So good bad guy is going to try to go take the fight to Ur, since they declare war on us. Probably don't want to move Cyanus and just in case there, since that's going to be a heavy province pretty soon. Let's kick up the defense. We can have these filthy humans fight for us. At least for the moment. It's probably good to kick it all up to 10 at least. Okay. 
but we need to conquer more lands to get more money. So that's good bad guy. So now we have Uxeldrom, the Ice Sculptor, who will now actually be Kate, the Ice Sculptor. And Kate will hang out in the capital, and he will be the Ice Sculptor of the capital in order to assist all the mages in their research. So he will have a pretty uneventful life. You get to just live in the palace, take on a little harem of female penguins, do his thing. These two can just stay. Quadric. Quadric is now going to be Miskatonic. 81. Alright, and he's sacred. In fact, we need a level 3 priest, don't we? Well, that's a little early, though. Ooh, oh, the archmages are so expensive. I guess more researchers. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on the. Well, they're sacred though. I have limited amounts of them that I can recruit. Why don't I start going with these guys? The shielded sacred. Gosh, resources are still very poor. The forest will help us quite a bit. Our scout is going to go up to the city. Are there scouts here by any chance? No. Okay. Alright, so... Miskatonic. Miskatonic desperately needs a priest of some kind. Hmm. Okay. You're a level 2 priest. You can Sermon of Courage, but using you in battle is kind of silly. I guess there's not a level 2 priest who's just priesty. These guys are only level 1. Ice bones? No. So that's one thing, maybe. Maybe it would be more sensible to have the Ice Enchanters be priest level 1 and the Ice Sculptors Priest level 2, because it seems kind of weird having Ice Enchanters who are supposed to be really great forgers, that's kind of their niche, to, and they have negative inspiration to be leading armies so that they can bless them. It just doesn't seem, doesn't seem to make a whole ton of sense to me. The Ice Keepers really show the priests that we need, but they are very, very expensive. Hmm... I guess we'll stick with what we have for right now. I... yeah, okay. Not entirely thrilled with some of the choices I've made right now, but we'll have to deal. Okay, Ionia, 250 gold. That's very nice. One battle affliction was cured. That's the cool thing about having our nature mage in with our other guys. Conjuration, we're up to level 2. Do I want to stop there? I think that's a good place to stop right now. We can do some construction. Although you need construction 6 to get Boots of Youth. It's going to take a while. Enchantment. Oh, you know what? We need scouts, don't we? Let's do enchantment. Just so we can get snowy owls, which are cool scouts. Alright. Good bad guy. You're going to head here. Cyanus. Build a temple. Just in case. Search. We might slow down the temple building for a moment to save money for troops. Kate is still hanging out. Miskatonic is still hanging out. We have our new researcher. Polar Mahout. And he received the error random. I think that makes him a better researcher. Let me just see. 13, 15. Yeah, it does. Cool. And let's kick this up to 10. Alright. So, what are we going to recruit here? Still can't quite afford an Archmage. I really need one. Yeah, I need someone to cast these spells. I think Snowy Owl requires... One air and one nature. Oh no, okay, so our bear master can handle that. That's not a problem. So really, we don't need need one of these guys yet, but I want sight searching. 
<sighs> Another Lord Protector. They can work together. Well, what's the point of recruiting sacred units if I can't even use them? I need an army now. They can go out and fight under regular conditions, and our domain is spreading. Alright. Alright, good. Oh, Scout. Let's see what he found. He found Machaka. And the city is very poorly defended, and there's Machaka. Okay, so we've seen three of our six enemies so far. Excellent. Just in case, found a magic site. Good for you, just in case. Did you know, by the way, folks, that in our world, penguins are only found in the southern hemisphere? There's only one breed of penguin, that's the Galapagos penguin, and they live on the Galapagos Islands that are ever even close to the equator. And sometimes, occasionally, they cross the equator, but very, very minutely. So really, they're a southern hemisphere animal. All right, what has he found? A sky split oak, neat. There was a battle in City of Long Production Times. That's one of El Moki's named cities, I guess. Blackdale, we lost a minion. I'm waiting for these good events. The 250 gold was nice, but... So Machaka is making a northerly push. And wow, they're doing quite well for themselves. We've never seen Machaka in a Marcus Aurelius LP, so let's take a look at them. They've got Spider Clan archers who are pretty weak in general, but they have good precision and they're for survival. They're probably like their basic archer. And there's also... Who, or come on, where's the other guy? Who, who are you guys with the white shorts? Bird Clan. The Bird Clan archer. These guys are better. So Bird Clan archers have very good sight, high precision, good morale. So they're like the step-ups. These are the basic archers, the step-up archers. This is the King Triumphant. Level 3 Priest. With awe, that is pretty nice. Let's see. Oh, I won't tell me what their bless is. Oh, he's not blessed yet. Okay, well, let's wait till they do that. Up here we have Spider Clan Warriors, Lion Clan Warriors, who are apparently the next step up, the stronger warriors. Wow, they're pretty tough. And War Lions. I don't know if those are recruitable or summonable, but they are lions. So we're going to have penguins versus lions pretty soon. That's going to be interesting. And I believe they are going to be victorious. I don't think militia are any match for lions. Well, they're actually holding their own, sort of. No, not really. Yeah. They have those cool little shields. Like those... I don't know what they're called, like Zulu shields, what the Zulus used to use. Alright, so, interesting, very interesting. We found our site here, Sky Split Oak, one air, it's very nice. Alright, just in case you're going to head home, well, good bad guy. It's actually going to move south against Ur, just in case you can go down. Cyanus is going to return home though, and just in case it's going to go here and search. We're not going to build a temple here. Plus, we need money. Money is what we need. It's not love. It's money. And we'll have a sight searching Archmage, finally. It's going to take two turns to recruit him. More basic troops. In fact, let's get a whole ton of these guys. There we go. All right. Everybody's doing what I need them to do. Oh, we got a name Fraz. Fraz is not Fraz. Fraz is... Templar. He will bring the light of the eternal ice to our enemies with this gigantic pike. I'm still trying to figure out how these uh, these Ladain hold their weapons. I guess they just they all, they're all spears, right? So I guess they wrap their fins kind of around them. <laughs> they wouldn't be able to utilize a sword. Now it, that's why they don't have bows, I suppose, because very you know you need digits in order to operate a bow. It's not going to stop me from giving all my leaders magical bows, though, as soon as I can. <laughs> Alright, we're at level 1 here. We're about to be level 2, which is where we want to be. Children of the Eternal Ice are cool. But they are expensive. No, not that expensive. 20 water gems? How many do I have? 27? Eh, maybe it's a consideration. Alright. Alright. The scout. 
we're going to get you out of there. And we're going to go scout out Abyssia, actually. All right, so Miskatonic, you are going to lead the Javelineers, Javelin Pens. Templar, you will lead our melee troops. Between the two of you, there will be much conquering. And I may send Cyanus or Kate with you for now. I know it's not really what we're supposed to be doing. They're, they're researchers. They're not supposed to get in the heat of battle. But sometimes plans change. Okay. There was a battle in Llama. Which I believe we won. Because otherwise we wouldn't see the event in it. So let's see how... Oh, those Enkidu don't last long against our Javelins. <laughs> I love these Javelin guys, and they're recruitable anywhere you have a castle. The other Sacreds are only recruitable in the capital, but the Javelin guys, you can get them anywhere. Interesting. Gold plus 74. I like it. All right, Ur. Neither one of these is their capital. Hmm. For defensive purposes, it might be good just to stay here. So we can block them off from two angles. Although if their capital's over here, they'll come around. Now would be a really great time to have scouts. Maybe we can... Oh, right, damn it. We moved, we moved just in case down here to search. All right, we'll move him up as soon as he's done doing that. Sneak. Let's go check out Abyssia. And Cyanus, yeah, sorry Cyanus. You are unfortunately going to be doing a bit more a bit more fighting than we intended for you. But we will give you or we won't give you bodyguards because you have no leadership. Oh, wonderful. Great. Abyssia has assassins, so that is a potentially problematic situation. But we need to expand, so we're gonna move out our expansion party. Templar, you're gonna hold. And stay behind troops. And I'm going to save that as setting number one, as I always do. Miskatonic, you're going to do the same thing. So, Miskatonic, you are going to have... They're going to fire closest, and they are going to be in line formation. Then we're going to have these gentlemen up here. They are going to hold an attack rearmost, while these gentlemen stay in a line formation. Oh gosh. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna make a few changes here. There we go. At least there's a few more of them. And they are going to attack closest right off the bat. Alright, so Miskatonic, you are gonna be up here. Templar You'll be here. And Cyanus. You're just going to bless like you don't know what's going on. And you will be... We'll keep you here, I guess. So you're close to the sacred guys, but not too close to the middle. Okay. Templar. Miskatonic, Cyanus, we'll have you go here. We're going to leave the throne alone for a moment. All right, so what does that mean for recruiting? He's going to come up next. We just need more of these guys. We need more dang production is what we need. All right, we are going to go another turn, I think, in enchantment. Do we want... Not yet. Let's go into construction. Just get that ball rolling. Okay. Just in case has found two magic sites. The Glen of Verdant Greenery and the Druin's Grave. I'm glad I had him do that. And we have more gold and llama. Excellent. Okay, well, just in case you're going back up now to do some spell casting. Okay, army. Let's see how you guys do. Good luck. Let's go see what a BC is. Well, let's, let's go around a BC if we can to see their borders. 
Hmm. Let's see if we can't... Ur doesn't have many guys. Let's see if we can't just grab this province real quick and then head back. Just to give us something to do with our time. And we have our guy here. Who, who's lucky enough to be our first Archmage, although with potential old age debilitations? Dr. Dalamand. Okay. And he, oh my, Dr. Dalamand. Three air, three water. You're exactly what I wanted for sight searching. This is perfect. How old are you? You're 58. That is pretty old. All right, so what next? Let's get a blood guy. Let's start getting some slaves. Because, oops, <laughs> we're going to need those boots of youth. ASAP. All right, Dr. Dalamand, you're going to go on a sight searching tour of our empire. Ivan Moore. Let's see. This is our second group against the neutrals. That is a lot of javelineers. Javelin pens. Javelin pens. Oh, elephants. Good thing elephants fall to javelins. One more good hit. Come on, guys. No, throw your javelins. Oh, thank goodness. And luckily, we're in cold dominion. So that means plus three strength and attack and defense. Our attack is still not amazing, but our defense is pretty dang good. Cyanist is not enough, though, to bless all these guys. We need a level 3 priest. For that, we need money, and we need production, and we need to conquer that throne province at some point. Yeah, I'm not too worried about some slingers. No. So what do we lose, though, in numeric terms? We lost three defenders, one ice warrior, and one ice thrower. Not bad. Wait, ice warrior? I had a nice warrior in there. Nine of them? Oops. Um, okay, Girthberg. We'll fix that in a minute. I don't think Ur is going to bring anything to the table here. Well, okay, some Enkidu. Let's see. It's also warm. Is that hurting us? No, it's just not helping us. Okay, and... Lest I forget, and Kidu our size three? Okay. Alright, cool. And that was their prophet, I guess. Because I didn't see any priests, and yet they were smiting. Or was that good bad guy? Might have been good bad guy. The capital of Ur. Hmm. We have a lot of troops. We have 84. Claims they have 20. So this is their province. They have 25 province defense as well. No. That's just... That would be... That would be asking for trouble. By the way... Well, we don't really need scouts anymore because we have... Snowy Owl. Three air gems. And they're coming out next. Alright, our first blood guy. Who is going to be our blood guy? That is going to be... Brad. Alright, so our... And he's a two blood, so that's, that's pretty solid. He is a heretic, and he's old. Wow, barely. Did not know that. Although... You can easily get rid of old age for... There's a spell that does that in the blood tree. But right now, Brad is going to blood hunt. Blood hunt, you say, Marcus, in your capital? But our growth and our population is such that... I've tried it. It doesn't harm you very much at all. So yes, we're going to do that. And that means that... One of these unnamed dudes... Lord... Or not Lord Potato. He's a mage. Zarkamand, I guess... We'll just have our troops set up in these guys. They're going to patrol. Since they're not really doing much for us right now. And we are going to make a push 
Up north. Ooh, an elephant. Nice. Up north for the city. I think we could take it. And there's a lot of magic sites there. Or should we go straight for... Hmm. If good bad guy was up here, this I think we could take this. Especially because it's heavily in our dominion, but... Phantasmal Warriors and a Sorceress and 130 units. I don't, I don't like the sound of that. Dr. Dalamand is going to search for magic sites before he dies of old age. And we need another researcher now because it's, we need to get our research machine moving up. And you, as you can see, I've stopped recruiting our sacred units for right now until it's feasible for me to have a Ice Keeper accompany them. As you saw with this army, a lot of them don't get blessed. All right, Abyssia is frickin' everywhere, and he's this... Okay, poof. Well, luckily, when our Dominion goes over here, the Mountain Pass will close. But that is not acceptable. Nothing yet over here. Ur's here. Machaka hasn't gone very far, so... All right, well, okay, so what are some options for us? After we take this city, I think it might be neat to have this army maybe go underwater and take out the Ictiads, maybe build us some strength in the water. I think... No, I guess I'm wrong. Maybe it's only water provinces where you get them, but there are Ladain called Wave Fighters, and I thought they were in coastal provinces. But apparently, they are not. Or maybe there's a special tag that you have to put to be a coastal, and these provinces don't have them. I'm not sure, but... I want Those are the only ones I really haven't seen much of, and I want to see what they look like and what they do. We have a Druid's Grave, one Nature, and one Nature. Okay, well, excellent. We're gaining a lot of awesome Nature Gems, which is really important because a lot of our summons require them. So, thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.